Hi, I'm Dana. I'm a sculptor from Austin, Texas, and I want to show you something cool I'm doing in the studio. Today I'm going to scan this portrait of my friend and fellow sculptor Chris Levac. I'm scanning my life-sized clay model using my EinScan Pro 2X. I will do a scan using the lightning mode, which allows me to choose the resolution ap after I've captured the data. This is a structured light scanner. It is not a laser. It uses LED lights, and it has several modes uh, depending on what you are doing. Uh, you can scan stationary objects at a very high resolution, uh, and you can even scan people. It is a really cool scanner, and I enjoy using it. Scanning starts with a preview, so you can see that it's going to work. Uh, and then I just move the scanner around, um, and the software is showing me all the areas that I'm scanning. This whole process takes about 15 minutes. The software will let me know if I'm too close uh, or too far away. Uh, it'll also tell me if it's lost track of itself. It uses features that it's previously scanned to align itself. Um, so sometimes I lose track and have to go back to a previously scanned area. The yellow part you can see is the inside, and that is helpful in identifying areas that need a little more data captured. So it's cool that you can move the object around as you're scanning in addition to moving the scanner. This is super helpful, especially scanning large objects because the cord is only about eight feet long and it can get a little acrobatic trying to dance around the cord and the object. Uh, so being able to turn the object is really useful. So I'm checking out my scan data here and I see that there is a little hole in his shirt, lower left hand side, you can see that. The yellow helps me helps me identify that. Uh, so this is a stationary object, so it's real easy for me to go back in and capture some more data to fill that hole in. Uh, if this were a person, uh, it might or might not work because they might not be in the same position. Now I can clean this up uh, by deleting excess data that I don't need. There is a very handy tool in the software that lets me select what I don't want and just simply delete it. There are a couple of steps to the data crunching, far too boring for video. First, I make a point cloud at the resolution that I want. Then I make a mesh that's either watertight or unwatertight. Anyway, that's the process of scanning with my EinScan Pro 2X. I hope you like this video. I've got others if you're interested in what's going on in my studio. Thanks for watching.